Current time, 6.55, 6.56, gotta be at the gym in four minutes, four minutes guys, morning cardio, I'll see you after, in three, two, one. Long time no see guys, morning cardio leaves you feeling so good and so refreshed, I love, I love it when I'm able to get up and actually do morning cardio, I love it a lot. I burn 400 calories in 30 minutes. Busted my butt. I don't really like to swear in here, but busted my butt and had the had the resistance up a lot and just went as hard as I could go and played YouTube videos and just zoned out and caught up on videos and just did it for 30 minutes and here I am. I'm done already. So I'm gonna run a super run real fast. I really want some fat free whipped cream for my pancakes obviously like honestly I really want it bad and then I made plans with Mariah yesterday to meet her at Cold Fusion so that is the plan guys for this morning and I'll check to you guys in the next clip got the shakes going something like that but I know that they've <laughs> Alright guys, so 8 ounces of chicken here, just wait for the oven to preheat. So I don't usually bake my chicken, uh, I just feel like doing it today just because I don't feel like uh, pan frying it. And dealing with the mess and I don't know I just don't really feel like messing with it and plus I have like extra time to uh, kill so I just baked it for 50 minutes and you know I'll go get back to it when it's done got the rice baking too so I decided for the next three to four days I'm dropping down to 2,000 calories just because of the way I feel with my diet I feel like I haven't been going as hard and you know I've been slacking now I've been hitting my macros, but also I've been going a little over on fats, uh, not fats, but carbs. So it's just like, I just don't really feel like I was giving it 100%, so I'm just dropping down to 2,000 calories for the next three to four days. So my breakfast is roughly 1,000 calories, like a little under 1,000 calories, and then lunch and dinner is about 450 calories a piece, so looking at not that much for that, but... Um, gonna make the most and try my best and hopefully my work will still turn into crap but as of right now I'm gonna sit back and chill for a bit and I gotta work all day got chest and back tonight so hopefully you guys stick around for that which won't be long from now because I work all day so the clips aren't there's not gonna be that much content or much clips so I'll just talk to you guys in the next one so I got my gym stuff packed for later I got the Three quarter sleeve, navy and gray, uh, alphalete tee, uh, some shorts, and uh, alphalete hoodie because it's cold out. But guys, I'm super excited to use that whipped cream, fat free whipped cream on my Kodiak cake. So I will make that up and show you guys the finished product. All right, guys. So when I was making this, I added Hi. chocolate uh, whey protein to it. No. So here it is, guys. I'm gonna eat this now and then I will see you guys after work tonight. It's nice that I'm done with work and it's still light out. Headed to the gym now. Super excited guys. Um, honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna start with back today or chest, I don't know which. Nah, screw it. We'll go with chest first, like usual, and then we'll head, dang, it's hood, man, whatever. And then we'll hit back after and yeah, I'm hoping it's a good workout, guys. I'm all by myself today, so just make the most of what I can do. So I'll see you guys there. All right, so the gym is super packed today, guys. Um, but thankfully, right away, uh, a rack just cleared off. So I'm going to get the bench set up, warm up, and jump into incline bench. So I'm going to do another edit. So let's get into it.
So guys, workout is done. I want to be real with you guys. That was probably the most crappiest workout I've ever had. Um, I don't know during this prep or like my whole entire like time I've been lifting. That was it was terrible. There were so many times, guys, where I said, you know what, screw this crap, I'm leaving. But then I thought, where's that gonna get me? I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna be so mad that I just. Skipped out on a planned workout. I've never done that before. Uh, I've been sick in the past and still said, you know what, screw it. We're going to the gym because I don't take, I don't miss planned workout days, guys. That's just not my brain. I just can't do it. I physically won't do it. So for me to think so many times, I don't even remember how many times I thought, you know what, screw this, I'm leaving. I don't remember how many times I did that, thought that, but it, it went through my head so much and I kept pushing and I, and I kept thinking, are my other competitors, uh, gonna stop no they're not gonna stop so I'm not gonna stop either and I kept pushing as hard as I can and and the reason why I feel like I I did this is because I dropped to 2,000 calories for uh, three to three to four days just because I feel like personally I've been slacking on my diet a tiny bit and going over uh, fats a little bit and mostly more on carbs so I just thought I'm gonna drop calories for about three to four days and you know get back on the routine after that so the first day obviously realizing after the workout sucks so bad it's this is gonna be really hard but it's something I just need to do for myself and I ran cardio this morning so that leaves me about at like 1600 calories for today which is terrible not even counting how many calories I burned during the workout so mm, I'm super tired guys like I was sweating you know moderately like in the middle but the thing I just want to get across to you guys is even on those days that you don't feel a hundred percent you feel maybe about thirty percent that's where I was feeling today you still gotta keep going don't don't leave the gym guys don't say you know screw it and throw everything on the ground and leave because where does that get you in life if you if you quit you're never going to get anywhere. That's why you just got to push through it, guys. And I pushed through it, and, you know, I still got a good pump. My chest was pumped pretty well, and my back was, was my back felt more pumped than my chest did. I did four moves for each. I, the, the first three moves were chest, and then the last four were back. But the last lift I did, the pullover, was uh, in um, a hybrid of back when I went back. And then when I come up, you hit chest, so it was both of them in there. But yeah, guys, that's basically the sum of everything. Is I had a crappy workout, crappy, crappy workout. But looking forward to to for tomorrow, and hopefully you know have a better day. So right, um, planning on making a humongous salad when I get home. So I'm just gonna head over to Super One, uh, grab a few bags of or well, things of lettuce, spinach deal. <laughs> whatever it's called, the box, the little plastic container thing, and we're going to make a big old salad. And I have bacon I still get to eat because I didn't eat it this morning. So I will talk to you guys in the next clip. All right, so in a previous video, someone commented and said, I need to work my grip strength so I can grab three apples. So let's give it a shot. First try is charm. <laughs> so buy one get one free with coupon. I don't have a coupon, but we're gonna see if we can get it anyways. 
What do you think, guys? Screw it? Huh? Dang, that one looks so good back there. Um, tell me you know what my favorite donuts has maple maple frosting on top. It's my favorite ever since I was younger. So, I'm not going to get one, though. In a previous video, they didn't have this flavor at my grocery store out by my house, so we're getting them. Honestly, this is a humongous sow. Like, look at that bowl. Got the spring mix, apples, blueberries, uh, turkey bacon, and granola with honey Dijon on top. And I also used one, the last slice of bacon. I made like a, this that's fat-free cheese with a bun and ketchup and the bacon. So I made a quick sandwich out of that. So guys, that is going to conclude this video. I really hope you took something from the, um, the rant I went on earlier with staying in the gym and staying committed and not giving up even when you're having the worst workout of your life. But I hope you liked this. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments, guys, please don't hesitate. I will, ref I will reply to them as uh, soon as I possibly can. And I will see you all in the next one.